Welcome everyone to the Hobby and Tech Warrior where we delve deeper into the little secrets hidden within the hobbies that preoccupy us. J4 here and in this video I have something airsoft for you. Specifically a spring powered bolt action replica came in for some work and I wanted to use this opportunity to illustrate different factors that may affect muzzle energy readings. The replica is a Tokyo Marui L96 AWS and it's a good platform to use as an example due to the air volume capacity in its cylinder, which is relatively on the lower end of the spectrum and can affect the performance of certain BB weights. But before we go any further, let us define Joule Creep. Joule Creep on an airsoft replica mainly pertains to a change in muzzle energy readings between different BB weights while maintaining the same configuration. So why is this important? For game site safety reasons, High variability in muzzle energy readings can pose difficulty for regulation. An airsoft replica that is within allowable energy limits on one BB weight may surpass said limits on another. For techies like me though, these are additional points of reference that help guide the upgrade process. Ultimately, it reflects the replica's efficiency at a certain BB weight and is good to know if you have a specific preference. One major factor that affects muscle energy readings is the air volume ratios between the cylinder and inner barrel. Since this replica isn't mine to break, I had refrained from deep pinning the cylinder to investigate the measurements. Instead, I searched online to come up with an estimate. Maybe someone can clarify these measurements in the comment section down below. I estimated the stock cylinder's inner radius to be about 9.6 mm, while the sealed travel of the piston to be about 67 mm. This turned out to be 19,388.62 mm cubed worth of air. The 499 mm inner barrel, on the other hand, has an air volume of about 14,480.29 mm cubed. This is a volume ratio of 1.34 to 1 when compared against each other. Essentially, the system is overvolumed, and the idea is that we can increase the weight of the BBs and have extra air to continue pushing them through the length of the inner barrel without losing power. Drops in energy measured in joules indicates that the volume of air is no longer sufficient for the specific BB weight. And to test that, we will take it to the chronograph. Well, isn't that weird? Despite the overvolume, we creep down on heavier BBs that bolt action replicas are known to perform best at. Now check this out. I try a new cylinder that has a volume of 20,783.76 mm cubed. This is a ratio of 1.43 to 1, an increase of about 6.71% in air volume. More importantly, the biggest difference here, I think, is the spring on this set, which pushes higher velocities. On this setup, we are no longer getting the drop in joules as the BB weight increases past 0.23 grams. In fact, the joules continue to rise as the BBs get heavier. The ratios between the cylinders are not very far off and unlikely the determining factor that accounts for the improvement. This leads me to believe that the other big change, which was the higher BB acceleration provided by the stronger mainspring, is the contributing factor. My thought is that reducing the time it takes for the BB to travel the length of the inner barrel to some extent can offset the power loss of running heavier BBs on insufficient air volume. So in conclusion, the spring rating is an additional factor to consider in tandem with air volume ratios when trying to optimize the performance of springers and battery powered replicas. Stronger power sources obviously leads to higher readings. However, this subtle observation may have profound implications when it comes to the choices made during the build. So what do you guys think? Do you have additional observations you've made on your own? 
feel free to discuss them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It will help me make more videos like this one. For additional information, I left a link to my website in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.